Hi guys, welcome to another audio video. And I'm reading Zechariah 12 of the King James Version Bible. And it reads, The burden of the word of the Lord for Israel, saith the Lord, which stretcheth forth the heavens, and layeth the foundation of the earth, and formeth the spirit of man within him. Behold, I will make Jerusalem a cup of trembling unto all the people round about, when they shall be in the siege both against Judah and against Jerusalem. And in that day will I make Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people. All that burden themselves with it shall be cut in pieces, though all the people of the earth be gathered together against it. In that day, saith the Lord, I will smite every horse with astonishment and his rider with madness, and I will open mine eyes upon the house of Judah, and I will smite every horse of the people with blindness. And the governors of Judah shall say in their heart, The inhabitants of Jerusalem shall be my strength in the Lord of hosts their God. In that day will I make the governors of Judah like an hearth of fire among the wood, and like a torch of fire in a sheaf, and they shall devour all the people round about, on the right hand and on the left, and Jerusalem shall be inhabited again in her own place, even in Jerusalem. The Lord also shall save the tents of Judah first, that the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magnify themselves against Judah. In that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David, and the house of David shall be as God, as the angel of the Lord before them. And it shall come to pass that in that day that I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem, and I will pour upon the house of David and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and of supplication, and they shall look upon me whom they have pierced, and they shall mourn for him as one mourneth for his only son, and shall be in bitterness for him, as one that is in bitterness for his firstborn. In that day shall there be a great mourning in Jerusalem as the mourning of Adad Rimon in the valley of Megiddon. And the land shall mourn, every family apart, the family of the house of David apart, and their wives apart, the family of the house of Nathan apart, and their wives apart, the family of the house of Levi apart, and their wives apart, the family of Shemai apart, and their wives apart, all the families that remain, every family apart, and their wives apart. Alright guys, so here we see in this chapter where it's spoken of that basically the children of Israel will actually be as a burden to everyone that has them within their city that tells them bone that tells them captive and being a burden not meaning that you know they'll be troublesome or anything like that but the fact that it will be worth it to let them go because the Lord will punish them for trying to keep them boned right and when they let them go they will prosper when they set them free when they do not seek to try and hold on to them anymore they will see gods they will see that they are actually able to prosper because the lord is not spite smiting them when i say spite smiting them for all their evil acts against his people right so in that they will know that the lord is on the side of the people of jerusalem and they will people of Jerusalem will be mighty and no one will be able to withstand them because the Lord is with them the Lord has accepted them back and the Lord is fighting on their behalf right and that doesn't say that Judah will no longer be a part of God and it doesn't basically denote the fact that they are indeed the people of God right they are still there they're still God's loved people but Jerusalem is the one that will actually be mighty and raised up and that will cause fear to
to be raised in the hearts of their oppressors so that no one will want to oppress them and in doing all this and carrying out all this the people will see that the Lord is indeed with them and they will mourn for all that they've done against him all the abominable things that they've done against the Lord forsaking the Lord right and this is basically what is being highlighted in this chapter here right so guys I'm just gonna leave that right there please remember to continue to walk in your salvation and if you've not yet gained it then seek it there's no better time to begin than the present have yourselves a blessed day bye